From Delco to Delphi to Aptive. Tier 1 automotive suppliers typically fall well outside our no boring cars coverage, even under the big tent of our website. But enthusiasts can't afford to ignore these companies as they influence, and often lead development of autonomy, connectivity, electrification, and cleaner, more efficient internal combustion. This week, Delphi Automotive PLC announced it was splitting into two with Delphi Technologies taking the advanced vehicle propulsion side of the business, specializing in combustion, software and controls and electrification, and the other spin-off, Aptiv, providing software, advanced computing platforms, and networking architecture for active safety and autonomous driving. Wikipedia says General Motors formed the Automotive Components Group in 1994, renamed it Delphi Automotive a year later, and folded in Delco Electronics which developed the first auto self-starter for the 1912 Cadillac, and Hughes Electronics, in 1997. GM spun off Delphi in 1999, and the parts supplier went through horribly slow bankruptcy reorganization from 2005 to 2009. Lately, Delphi has been preparing business and auto journos for its latest corporate move with deep dives into the technologies that its Delphi Technologies and Aptive will sell to original equipment manufacturers. I recently took a quick test drive in a Volkswagen Passat equipped with Delphi Automotive's dynamic skip fire technology and 48 volt electrical system. It was just long enough for me to tell you that I didn't notice anything special about the powertrain which in this case is based on VW's 1.8-liter TSI gasoline 4. That's the point, of course, that DSF and 48 volt don't affect the standard drivetrain smoothness or power delivery. DSF is a sort of next-generation cylinder shut-off, but is much more sophisticated than shutting off a bank of cylinders in a V6 or V8 at low RPM highway cruising speeds. Instead, Dynamic skip fire decides on every engine fire, which cylinders you fire, says Mary Gutansky, who spoke as Delphi's engineering and program management vice president, and now serves the new Delphi spin-off as its chief technology officer.